Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Oh, come on. Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? Idle minds, too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind, no better than 80% chances is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train. Random variables never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Care for the way he's saturated with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Get something. Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before. You know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. I think your boyfriend's an arsehole. <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> Can I help you with something? I need a favor. 
I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <sighs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <sighs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. I can't do it. Sorry. It's more than my job's worth. So you're a good boy. Shame. <laughs> Didn't you ever steal a sweet from the sweet shop? Not sweets are expensive. I promise I will bring it back. I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. I won't. <sighs> okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in a Maserati. That was rash. How much is the bet for? A grand. A grand? <sighs> a hundred of it is yours, if you let me have those keys. Ah, uh, look, forget it. There is no way I'm letting you drive a £200,000 car out of here tonight, all right? What? Nothing. Look, you're not taking the car, right? Do I look stupid? Yes. Yes, clearly I do. Otherwise, you wouldn't have asked me in the first place. Good night. Bus stops that way. Fine. Have a good evening, freak. A myriad of possible decisions, and I pick the one that ends in me being a freak. Well done. Slowly. Now get over it. Drop it. The security guard pay you enough to be a hero. Smart. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're gonna do. Get back here. Fuck! Hey, aren't you the guy from the car park? Listen, let me give you a ride. There's no more trains going from there anymore.
You drop me off at South Kent, please, mate. Look, something's come up I need to take care of first. Oh, fucking hell. Look, I'm a fucking student, okay? I've got no money. My family's got no money. What am I to you? A problem, that's what. You know the guy broke into the garage, don't you? Maybe. I didn't see his face, okay? I can't identify anyone. But you can identify me. Just relax. Who's the baggage? It's fucking mistake. What the hell happened in that garage? The carabiner failed. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place. Letting an eyewitness get away. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ! And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice bowl? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. He needs to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes. Call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer, I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. You stay where you are. Look, you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. That's the that leaves lots of painful options. Not good at maths, are you, mate? What's that supposed to mean? Minus one, plus one. That means zero. Yeah, zero problems. Look, you need someone to help you out. And I need someone not to stick a fucking syringe in me. Why on earth would I trust you? Because you don't have a choice. Just like I don't. <sighs> See your point. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. What about the money? Don't push your luck. This is what's going to happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be the auction house before nine. Yes, sir. You're joking. We'll find you something. <laughs> I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already. Just like to be prepared, that's all. 
A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume we're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you've got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Welcome to Hainsworth. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. 950 to my left. Do I hear 960? Fair warning. I'm selling. 950 once, 950 twice. So, for 950,000 pounds, this marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is. 950 grand for its time. Just Thank try to keep it out of the tray. I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. I'm sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tramp. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three That's simply beautiful pieces. remaining examples okay, great. of the red down. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would, please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Shit, but he can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we shall begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the you, sale price, don't on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you. Stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. Christ, I'm waiting. looking for nine five, ladies and gentlemen. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. So do I hear ten? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break ten. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your Ten we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Ten is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear ten five? You are so getting lumbered with this. Ten five. Ten five I have. Thank you. Now do I hear eleven? 
Eleven I have with the lady. I'm gonna have Again, a heart attack. You, it's eleven, it's your bid, Matt. Yeah, gut feeling. Eleven, okay. so you know, price we have eleven five. Logarithmic curve, derivative eleven five. Zero. So the chances of getting away with another bid, bid. at eleven, madam. What eleven five. Half percent. Trust me. Eleven five. Eleven five. I have. Thank you very much, sir. Eleven There's five. No it's your bid. It's against you now, bid. It's against you, sir. Eleven five. Eleven five with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. Eleven five once. Eleven five twice. Twelve million I have. Thank you, madam. Twelve it is. So do I hear twelve five? Twelve five I'm looking for. Twelve five. It's your bid at twelve, madam. Looking for twelve five. Twelve five. Twelve five I have to my right. Thank you, sir. Twelve five. So do I hear thirteen? Against you now, man. Twelve five. Are we all out? At twelve five. Fair warning. I'm selling. Twelve five once. Twelve five twice. So to the gentleman on my right for twelve and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. Let's get the hell out of here. You see, the wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? Staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Now both hit 
enter at the same time. Okay. Three, two, one. Got it, we're in. Thanks, mate. Take him with you. Simon, I'll come to the front to get you. Gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bolt. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Woo's place and he turns it into money. Too fucking right. You want to take a left? It's on Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. It sounds classy. What are we going to do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop it. Oh, hold on. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this ball. Jeffrey, you're not serious. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mei Ling. Mei Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. to finish what you started. Mr. Wuth? Yeah, but that was the plan, wasn't it? What do you want to do, Mei Ling? 
चुड़स्त पैले Look at me. You can't not decide, okay? You have to do something. So look, come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go. Four, four on me, please. It's going well. Excuse me. We uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Four on me, please. No, no, no. Make me, me. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? Want to see the manager? You know. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You, right here. Have fortune cookie. Tell me. No. Could they while you're gun you yet tonight go? That's him. Go on. What's your business? Lao Zai, this is not Chai Gao Wan. Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead. Okay, that's why we brought you your ball. My ball. Adam, turn the page over here. Oh fuck! Managing to steal that ball. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place. It's nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order, not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness; it is also suicide. To the Choi family, possession of that ball is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price. 
is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! If you know how much they paid, then you know your 20% is a lot higher than you thought it would be. You want us out of here because you don't want to pay what you promised. I did not order its theft. The only order I am giving is to you. Get out of my restaurant! What should we do with her? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atom! Go on, Cordae Tohoi! Goodbye. We will not meet again. Fucking great. I still want to know what my fortune cookie said. Sure. A young man may trust his ears, but a wise man trusts his heart. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are? You fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole that damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. No. No, we go to the police, Mei Ling. Like we should have done in the first place. That's a terrible plan. Well, it's better than hiding away from the inevitable. Look, we need to get rid of this bowl before the choice get rid of us. If we take it to the police, they will arrest us. Not for definite, no. I'll make it an even 50%. You do realize your calculations on my gut are doing exactly the same thing? You just need the numbers to make you feel better. My numbers are based on the information that we have, yeah? And rational mathematical algorithms. Well, my gut feelings are based on experience and my entire subconscious. Do you know how many percent of your brain's activity are conscious? Probably less than one. Now that's a percentage. So trust me when I tell you that going to the police is a bad idea.
Did you believe Wade? They knew nothing about the job. You looked convincing, didn't you? Yeah, that's not what I asked you. John, thank you. And good evening from N Channel News. I'm Oliver Sands. No, I didn't watch this conversation, mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for 20% job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the bath. What? There's no bath. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, could you? Why did you do that? Because I felt like it. Adrian Nunez will talk to experts on the topic in roughly half an hour, right here on N Channel News. But before that, we'll talk to news with Belinda Song, reporting on tonight's tragic accident in South East London. Alive. The one thing! Why would you do that? It's total madness, tell me why! Because it was a fake. I'm, I'm sorry, what? The ball was fake. Then where's the real one? I don't know. Then 
how did you know it was a fake? Because I'm the one who forged it. Fuck. I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't know the implications. I was lying to you just like you. Fuck me. We can still get the real one back and trade it for our lives. But I need your help to get it. Please. You have to trust me. Trust you? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I hearing you right now? Okay. Okay, but these are my conditions. Firstly, you tell me everything you know. The whole story. And if I find out you've left out even the slightest detail, I am fucking gone. Secondly, from now on, we do things my way. Okay, I make the decisions, and you agree with them. Agreed. Correct answer. We'll start talking. I needed the money. Yeah, don't we all? Who paid you? Samuel Pa. Wait, the guy who was selling the bomb? He couldn't part with it, but he knew the choice would never let him keep it. So he had you forge a copy to sell to the choice? To keep for himself? You didn't believe that one, did you? I believe in the good in people. Oh, don't give me this bullshit! Where is the original now? I don't know. I could see Palm must somehow be involved. But why the theft if you could just sell the copy? He couldn't just sell it. Haynesworth, they would have found out. Look, you can paint it perfectly you like, but you just can't fake the age report so. Dating is based on the effect of their luminescence. Luminescence? Yeah, it is a process to determine when the pulse is fired. Like in a burning vehicle, you mean? Oh, fuck me. You mean? I don't know. You tell me. If the forgery was retrieved from the van after the accident, it would have been indiscernible from the original. After the accident? It was no accident, was it? That must have been part of past plan. Come on, let's get out of here. Where are we going? To pause. He's gonna regret this. I won't let him get away with it. Beating up won't solve our problem. Well, it's a start. Matt. Matt, you're not serious. with that. No, she says Paul's fucked us, so let's pay this guy a visit.
morning. In the park with Mr. Samuel Parr? Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? Mr. Parr, this man says uh, that he has Thank you, Willa. I'll take my tea in the study today. Are you intruded at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. I want the original. The original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are... Matt. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt. How did you come by this extraordinary theory? I know that Mailing forged a copy for you. And you organised the robbery. And you have proof to back up this outrageous slander? I don't need proof, mate. We're not in court, are we? I know what I know, yeah? That you fucked up my life for a piece of fucking pottery! Language, dear boy. Don't get confused. Are we going to discuss this sensibly or not? I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Do you have any idea how much that cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? But wait. All right. Sensibly. In my study. Yeah. Lead on. Where's the bowl? I don't know. Since it was stolen, I've lost track. That's a lie. It's the truth. <laughs> I'm not leaving here without that fucking bowl. I don't know where it is. I will destroy everything in here. Mr. Parr, is everything all right? Uh, it's fine, Ola. Everything is fine. <laughs> I'm not fucking joking yet. I will fuck up everything. I need that bowl. People's lives depend on it. I don't think you'd go that far. Neither did I until I got here. But where's the line? How far will I go? You're making a mistake. Oh, to hell with you! Oh. Neither of us are leaving here until I get that fucking bomb! Oh. Stop in the name of God. It's here. The bowl is here. Show it to me. It's in the safe. I collected the chest last night. Whoa, 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 wait. Wait. I'll do it. You don't know the code. You tell it to me, come on. Seven, nine, nineteen, zero, one. So it's like that now, is it? Give me the fucking bowl! I can't give it to you. I can't. So you kill me for it? <laughs> you won't be the first to die for it. There'll be many of you before. You have your fucking mind. Fuck you. <laughs>
fuck. Go fuck. The ball, you have it. Where? You're dying. The girl can still live. Where is our ball? We must have it! Where? Fuck you. Thank you.